Hello, and welcome back to Vice City. We've got a goddamn phone call. Tommy. Sonny. Obviously you are suffering hey, from your problems, so I'll try again. Where's the goddamn money? Where's the goddamn stuff? And where's my gut? Are you new action? You are making an idiot out of me, Tommy, and I'm not laughing yet. Ah, uh, Tom Sizemore. He's uh, always giving us a hard time, but yes, welcome back. Last episode, did we buy this or was it the episode before? I can't remember, but let's do a mission for the film studios. <laughs> and uh, we got a sign here, no entry when red light is flashing, but it's not flashing, so I think we'll be okay. How's filming going, Steve? Well... Candy is a natural. And that new girl, she's insatiable. She went through half the cast and crew before I even took a light reading. Anyway, hey, tomorrow we're going on location to shoot the boat scenes. Boat scenes? What boat scenes? The fishermen are in the throes of passion when the giant shark comes in. What'd I say about the giant shark? <sighs> I said, no giant shark, all right? Just keep the cameras pointed at the poon tag. Okay, okay. Hey, Tommy, you guys got to try, right? Get those flyers printed up? Yeah, but nobody's going to let us distribute those things. I mean, they're just too, uh, they're unimaginative. You don't worry about that. I've got my own ideas for distribution. Okay. Hey, Candy, uh, in my trailer. Okay, so while Dennis Hopper gets his hop on, we are going to get our hop on. Hopping on a plane, so, uh, what am I talking about, I don't know, but there is a plane from some indie film, haha, <laughs> quote, quote, that is some kind of a pun, so we'll jump into the plane, this isn't too hard at all, although, uh, having said that, I used to have a lot of trouble with it back in the day, what we gotta do is, it's basically a timed mission, it is a, uh, it is a twist on a timed mission. We have a certain amount of fuel that we need to distribute these unimaginative flyers for uh, whatever his name is, Dennis Hopper. So what we're going to do is we're going to fly to the furthest one first so that we sort of waste as much fuel as we can at the start and then we sort of do a logical loop around the city in uh, whatever order deemed appropriate at the time. So the first one is a bit of a ways away, so we're just going to have to uh, listen to the amazing uh, sounds of Saturday night on our way. So it should be right above the harbour down here. Shouldn't be too far away now. So yeah, as I said, I used to have a lot of trouble with this mission. Used to barely be able to do it, but I'm not sure why, because uh, so long as you can fly a goddamn plane, it's not that hard, really. And uh, as you can see, once we start a checkpoint, all other checkpoints are deleted from the map, and we just got to fly through the next one before we're allowed to do the others. So, uh, on our way to the checkpoint, millions upon millions of leaflets will fly out the back of the uh, of the plane here. And um, well, I guess we're just showering the city in these, and we're not really too concerned about where they land on the roofs of buildings or. Uh, in the ocean, it doesn't really matter. So the uh, the Vice City cleanup crew are going to have a hell of a time picking all these up, and I dare say they won't be able to pick them all up. So our advertising has done well. But what can we do to get in there without absolutely destroying the plane? Because you know we're not going to blow up once we hit the ground, but. Uh, it's going to be hard to take off again because we're not on the water, you see, but wow, that was really, really well done. Uh, that is a lot harder to do than it looks, so I am pretty impressed with that. So we'll just fly over to the next one by the airport. This guy really does like rooting. He seems to uh, like telling everyone that he likes rooting, and I wonder why... You know, like, um, people like this guy, I don't know who it is, so I'll, uh, have to forgive, well, you'll have to forgive me for my lack of knowledge in that area, but I just, I just wonder when people make songs about rooting, like, I, I don't know, it just seems like a really personal thing, but I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe he is not embarrassed at all about telling everyone that he likes rooting, I mean, 
why would he be embarrassed, you know? He's probably a very, uh, very, uh, funky man who likes to get down on Saturday night, so you would know that just by looking at him, I imagine, because I do not know who he is or what he looks like, so, um, anyway, what am I talking about? Anything but what we're doing at the moment, because it is so dull, I mean, yeah, once you've gotten over the uh, controls of the plane, which aren't actually that hard, like I said, I had trouble with it, but I don't know why, it's not that hard, so... Once you've gotten over the first five seconds, like all the missions in Vice City, they just seem to drag forever. Like, yeah, we get it, we understand what we need to do at this point, so just making us do it over and over is just not really uh, helping our cause any. It's really not difficult at all if we can just do this, but here is the last one. So, as I said, we did a very logical order for the checkpoints, so we have only got half our fuel depleted, so... This was a cakewalk, and uh, I'm not sure what the point of that expression is. Are you walking on cakes? Is that an easy thing to do? I don't know, but here we are, we're done. And if you remember, we cannot go back to Robina at the moment. We are going to have to go back to Auntie Pearl A. And uh, maybe this will be her last mission, and then we will have finished that sort of uh, side plot. There we go, we just land in Little Haiti here. Someone will uh, wake up in the morning and find a seaplane in their uh, front porch. So, um, anyway, before we do that, actually, I will go do something else. So, I'll see you in a second. Okay, welcome back. I am dressed like an idiot. And we will do the final mission for Auntie Pearl A. And before we do that, I just want to have a look at the uh, windows and the uh, the scope of the house. Because I've got a feeling that the cutscenes take place inside this building and not in some other area. Hello? Hello? Uh, I'm looking for somebody around here. You're looking hungry, Tommy. Do I know you? Hush now! One more thing and I can let you go, Tommy. My boys can war with them Cuban boys, but no guns. Mm, but the Cubans have a surprise coming. While they fight in the streets, you take this rifle and kill them in the hubbub. No one sees you, no one hear you. Now, Tommy, you do this for me and you no longer tie to my apron strings. Okay, Auntie. Yes, thank you. Replace my perfectly good sniper rifle with this one. And, uh, well, what the reason they do that is because they want to give you an ammo limit to sort of give you another imposed challenge. But, uh, yeah, it seems like that cutscene does take place in that building. So that is interesting, or interesting to me anyway. So if you could find a way to glitch yourself in there, you'd be able to get into that uh, cutscene. But, anyway... Uh, so what we got to do is we got to shoot these Cubans because they are acting uh, mischief mischievously. So we just, oh, here we go, look out with a capital O. So they have brought reinforcements in a van and we got to shoot them. So if we let the uh, Haitians all get killed, we will fail the mission. So, well, we got to copy and paste uh, mission objective here, so, whoa, fuck, where did all you come from? So one of them's got a sword, we probably should take that guy out first, but, uh, yeah, he, we, uh, instead we'll take him out last, <laughs> and we got this last guy here, that was actually very lucky as it turned out, because we only had one Haitian gang member left, but, uh, that will be it for today, I believe. So, you can see on the map there, Anchipulay's missions are completed. So, we will head back to Robina next episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then.